Hey, what's going on, you beautiful human? Before we dive into today's episode, I wanted to invite you to the Bottleneck Workshop for Entrepreneurs. This is a brand new workshop that I created, and the intention behind it is to help you get out ahead of your 2021 New Year's intentions and desires that you have. I have already put a group of my clients through this workshop, and the results have been amazing. The biggest thing that they've taken away from this is that it's allowing them to set their new year up in a completely different way than they have ever done before. So here's the details. I'm going to run this live. It's a two and a half hour workshop. I'm going to run it live four times in December. The workshop has five modules in it. Once you go through the workshop, you'll have access to the online portal. The online portal will give you access for life to the program, the workshop, and any of the resources. As well, there is a very extensive workbook filled with tons of strategies and exercises and tools that you can use that are all mindset related that you can use moving into 2021 and beyond, as well as there is a Slack accountability and community. This is something that I normally charge $500 per person for, but I am opening it up for the first 60 people who join the workshop. And in fact, there's only 60 spots available amongst the four calls anyways, but this is going to be a Slack accountability and community. This is my signature thing and it's totally worth it. And this is a little bonus that I'm giving you. So the details are, I have a call on Thursday, December 10th at 4 30 PM Pacific center time, Monday, December 14th at 4 30 PM Pacific standard time, Tuesday, December 15th, at 7.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is the only time I have a call at a.m. and Pacific Time. And on Monday, December 21st at 4.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. As I mentioned, this workshop is designed to get you out ahead of your 2021 intentions. I want to get you mentally out of your own way before you even begin to take action on those things, helping you align completely different with what you're doing and the direction that you're going. So if you're someone that you're like, yeah, Danielle, I want to get in on this workshop. I want to make this investment myself. Head to go.yourmindsetmentor.com forward slash join. And I should also mention each call only has 15 spots available. So it's a very intimate call. Everyone going to get time with me to coach them, but it's nice and intimate. And that's also why there's only 60 spots available. So 60 beautiful humans are going to get the opportunity to work with me and be in the container that I'm holding and all the other beautiful humans that are going to join this bottleneck workshop. And we're all going to get out ahead of our new year's intentions, new year's resolutions so that we can make 2021 a year that we've never seen or never even dreamed about before. So if that person is you and you want to lock in your spot and you want to get that Slack accountability and community bonus, Again, head to go.yourmindsetmentor.com forward slash join to lock in your spot. What's going on, you beautiful human? Welcome to the show. My name is Danielle Grant, and I am a corporate dropout turned entrepreneur. I am the creator of Your Mindset Mentor, a peak mindset performance company for entrepreneurs. And my greatest passion is helping you, the entrepreneur, align your mental mind with all that you desire, allowing you to live in flow abundance, and ease. I also interview other beautiful humans who have put in the work to transforming their lives, and I get to share their story and lessons with you. If you want all my wisdom on mindset, entrepreneurship, spirituality, and how to ascend into your next levels while making bank, then you are in the right place, my friend. Let's dive in. I legitimately just binge listen to my own podcast. I do that from time to time. It's always an interesting experience, but I will say I there's some good stuff in there. And if you were to listen to those episodes and take action consistently, your whole life would change. I'm just going to throw that out there. Anyways, welcome to the continuation of our December episodes where we are looking to get realigned with ourselves as we move into 2021. And we're doing that by doing some reflection. In the last episode, I had invited you to listen or watch the bottleneck, mini bottleneck workshop for entrepreneurs, which was helping you understand why it's important that we look at our mindsets and our actions and what they are, particularly at the end of the year and reflect back on them and decide to make changes moving into the new year so that we can yield a different result. And I hope that you listened to it. If you didn't stop this episode, go back and listen to it or go watch it online. The link is in the show notes. And in this episode today, we are talking about the pregame. This is a part of the bottleneck workshop in the workbook, which this workbook I created, I honestly, I, I totally had no idea what I was going to create. And then I created it and it is, it is so packed with strategies and tools that you can be using that it's incredible. And it's just, 
I'm super excited. So if you want it, obviously join us in the bottleneck workshop, but I am going to give you the first part of the workbook, including the pregame. So in the show notes, you can go ahead and download a copy. It's ungated. You just go ahead and download it. And in this pregame, it's really all about massaging your subconscious mind to be able to deliver a better outcome. And when you start to begin to learn about the mindset, you begin to understand just how powerful the subconscious mind is. And that's what we do all the work in is our subconscious mind. But the subconscious mind is also something that holds a lot of our experiences and memories from this lifetime and previous lifetimes. And so to get the most out of it and to, for it to really allow you to get as much clarity, you want to work it. You want to start to introduce ideas and concepts to it that would question it, that would, it would have to go searching for these things. When you do that, you're strengthening and awakening those muscles within the subconscious mind, so to speak, visually think of that. And by doing that, you're allowing it a lot easier to produce the result, which is give you the clarity that you're looking for. So by doing this pregame work, what you're doing is you're doing exactly that, allowing the deeper questions of the present and what is going on right now to come to the surface in its full entirety. One of the things I don't really, well, we do talk about all the time, but I don't term it all the time is this idea of the dark night of the soul, which is really this ego aspect of us. But when you think about this and that aspect of the dark night of the soul, what you're really doing is you're bringing the light to that aspect and you're intentionally going in and saying, I want to look at these ideas and these experiences that I've had in my life. And typically those are dark rooms. They, they live within our dark night of the, the soul. And when you go in consciously to do this, you're bringing in the light. And so that's, what's allowing these, these other answers and this other work that we're going to do to benefit from this pregame. And one of the reasons why I'm so adamant about this kind of pregame work, and you'll find in almost all of my programs, there's like a pregame section is because this is not only proven as a human and as a spirit, but it really is this whole idea that it's proven on a human level that you see professional athletes have these pregame routines. You see the benefit of them. And we are no different as entrepreneurs, as those athletes. So we know it's a proven tactic physically on the human level that we should be engaging in. And when we talk about the kind of work that we're doing, we're not professional athletes out playing a sport, but we are entrepreneurs who are constantly working in our mindsets and working within self. That's basically what we're doing as entrepreneurs. And so this is important because if you're going to make the most out of a transformation or you're going to go for it, or you're going to like put in any amount of work, you want to extract the most out of it and you want to optimize it. And it's this kind of stuff that optimizes it. The questions I'm sharing in this pregame routine are not specifically designed for New Year's or like the beginning of the year or the end of the year. They can be done at any given point at any time of the year. And people who constantly do reflection like this and are always going back and engaging on this have very healthy and strong mindsets. And they typically are people that you admire because they understand the value in this reflection. They understand the value in the mental work and the inner work and the consistency of it. And so don't undervalue what we're talking about here today. And remember that you can come back to this at any given moment and you're going to have this available to download and print off. So feel free to print off a couple extra copies for yourself to put them in your desk or wherever you need them. And when you find yourself out of alignment or you're just, you're struggling and you're just disconnected or you're fearful or whatever you're experiencing that isn't positive and supporting, pull out these questions and do some reflection and, you know, get that subconscious mind going. And as we go through the the remainder of these podcasts for the month of December, you're going to get a whole process and strategy to be able to do the whole mindset work, including the three-step mindset framework. And again, if all you did was take action on these four episodes that I'm putting out, your life would change. This is the, this is the stuff that I help people with. And it's these kinds of things that allow you to gain control of your reality. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this because I am honestly so excited. I have delivered this workshop live now three times. I have it two more times on the calendar. And uh, if you're available, there are still spots available and open for you. If you're available, if you would like to join, which you should be considering joining, like this is a really amazing opportunity. So if you want to join, join link down in the show notes, but let's go ahead and go through this. So let's, if you haven't clicked anywhere, get the download, make sure that you're looking at it, pause this episode or listen to the whole episode and come back later. Do whatever you want to do. So in the workbook, you'll see the table of contents there. 
also gives you an idea what else is in there. A little like, hello from me, a little, hey, let's not talk no bullshit. Let's make the damn thing happen. And then there's the blueprint of the workshop. I do want to touch base on this quickly because I think this is cool. So one of the things I did is I really was intentional about designing this workshop and I wanted to design this workshop in show, being able to show you what, what we're working in and the kind of things that we're doing. And so through this workshop, you can expect to move through these different stages and come out with a solid mental strategy and plan moving into your next level. So the first part is clarity. Without clarity, you cannot see what needs to change. This workshop is going to allow you to gain clarity in multiple areas of your business and life that can be realigned. Number two is awareness. Once you have awareness, you have choice. Through this awareness, you will be able to decide what kind of thoughts, actions, and business you want to create. Number three, the higher self. The secret weapon in business is your higher self. This is the aspect of you that gives you the ideas that encourage it. The secret weapon in business is your higher self. This is the aspect of you that gives you the ideas that encourages you, that attracts the right person. And deepening and understanding your higher self is the most important part of this workshop. This really is the most important part of life. Number four is alignment. Once you see it clearly, you can begin to take action on the things that will allow the alignment of desires to manifest in real time. It's like the funnest part watching it happen. Number five is to optimize. The spiritual being is here to be optimized. And when you take actions that allows this to occur, you begin to collapse time and truly become the creator of your reality. That's the cool part too. Like just this last part of it, you just see it all come together. That's what makes it worth it. Number six is to evolve, grow, and expand. Don't stop, won't stop. This is what the soul wants. Creating a daily habit allows you to constantly be aligning with higher self and next level. It becomes something that you become addicted to. You truly become addicted to challenging the negative beliefs and thoughts that you hold to be true. You are constantly challenging what your limitations are. And it, you want to do it because when you do challenge it with this perspective and doing mindset work, you get the result you want. So you want to keep doing that in your life because you realize that that's the key. The mindset works, the thing that's going to allow you to actually make the damn thing happen. So the pregame to get the most out of any inner work, it is a good idea to get the mental mind moving before you dive into the transformation. Think of this section. Like you're a professional athlete, you're completing a pregame routine to optimize game time. So our three intentions here, I had goals here, but I actually like the word intentions better. Your mindset likes it better. So intention number one is to disrupt your mental feedback loop. Intention number two is to begin to get the mental and energetic mind moving in a different way. And intention number three is to allow your conscious self to get comfortable with some of the ego work you will be doing. Really, really excited for you to go through this. The pregame reflection. Without reflection, your ego mind has no clarity and awareness on what has happened, where you are, and all the things in between. Taking time to reflect is where it all starts. Over the next few pages, I want you to get very clear on what has happened over the next over the last six months, one year, and five years. Each time frame has its own set of questions to allow the subconscious mind to begin to show the ego where it has been. This exercise is the first step in disrupting your feedback loop of what is, and it is allowing your conscious self, your higher self, to come in and begin to take control. So over the next three pages, you'll see here that we have the three reflections reflect five years. So five years ago, it was put the date. You can put the exact date in if you want. And I was blank years old. Then you're going to move into these questions. So this is how this works on the left-hand side. You see the questions that you have to answer on the right-hand side, you see open spaces, those open spaces, you don't have to just stick to them. Obviously, the more that you give these answers, the better it's going to be. So flip it over, get a scrappy paper, whatever you need to do, but give it your all for these answers, because the more that you give it, the more it's just going to benefit you anyways. So number one, five years ago, what was the location or environment like? Where were you living? What kind of space did you live in? Describe your town or city in five words. Just get really clear here. Like, what did your reality look like? In the location and environment, what kind of restaurants did you go to? The more life that you give it, the more that it's going to be able to transform. Number two, the money situation. So looking back five years, define what your money situation looked like. Again, was it abundant? Were you broke? Were you living paycheck to paycheck? Were you making good money? How did it feel to have that money? What were you spending your money on? Number three, the business or career. Looking back five years, what did your business look like? Or where were you working? How much money were you making? And in five words, describe your feelings in your business or career at this time. So just get really clear on what your career looked like, right? We all have careers or work jobs that we work. So describe that. 
And number four, the personal life. So looking back five years, what did your personal life look like? How were your relationships? How was your fitness and lifestyle choices? Who are the three closest to you at that time? Go ahead and fill that out. The next one that we're moving into is the one year. So one year ago it was, and the first question here is what did your business look like? So looking back one year, what kind of business did you have? How many clients, how much money were you making? What offers did you have? Get very clear. And you know what? There has to be a level of vulnerability as you go through this kind of an exercise, because if you want to sit here and write down what would be such a superficial answer, and I'm not saying that you would, I'm just calling it out in case you, this is you. But if you want to sit there and write a superficial answer down, like that life was so great, why are you going through an exercise like this? Like it's just completely pointless. The point of going through an exercise like this is allowing you a space to be vulnerable and asking deep questions and just being very truthful with yourself about it because no one's judging you on this and it's about you and it's for you. So I just really want to encourage you that, you know, this is for you. And the more that you put into it and the more that you're real with yourself, the more that you'll be able to transform the things that are, are not working or that are misaligned or that are keeping you anchored in the past. It's really important that you're, you do that for yourself. And I can't make you do it. Only you can make yourself do it. So make a choice as you go through these answers and decide what kind of a version of yourself you want to show up for you. The second one here is who were you surrounding yourself with? So who are the people in your life, family, friends, mentors, colleagues? Number three is what did your habits look like? So looking back one year, what kind of habits did you have? Write a list of the daily and weekly habits you were taking action on. Again, get really clear. And you know what? If you were sucking at life and like you weren't getting your habits down, we've all been there. Then write that down and just say like, I sucked at my habits or they were non-existent or, you know, I was overweight or whatever it was, but just be really honest with yourself. Number four is what are three limiting beliefs, stories, habits you transformed? So looking back one year, what are three limiting beliefs, stories, or habits you have transformed? Maybe a money story, worthiness, trust. And again, if you didn't work on any because that you weren't doing the work, then that's cool. Like just, I wasn't doing the work. It's not about you saying the right answers. It's about you seeing and, and understanding what's going on in your life on an inner level. And the last one here is the reflect six months. And this is why you can see here that these are so relative to do it whenever you want, because the five year, the one year and the six year is always going to be different at different times in your life when you do these. So that's why these kinds of things are so, so powerful. Number one, what are two beliefs that were keeping you stuck? So acknowledge the strongest beliefs, provide as much detail as possible. Again, if you're like, I'm not hundred percent sure, don't worry about it. If you're like, man, I know exactly what they were. Give as much detail as you possibly can. Number two, what are three new habits that you created? So looking back six months, what are three new habits that you created? Maybe fitness, meditation, daily reading, completing courses I buy, maybe cleaning. We've been in an interesting time this last year. So some of us have actually really been working on this stuff. The third one is what did your self-care ritual practice look like? So did you have one? And don't cheat yourself. Be honest. Was it consistent? Did you have a plan? Do you even care about self-care? And the last one here, number four, is what are four beliefs that you introduced? So maybe something around time, abundance, again, worthiness, or action. So those are the three pages of questions that you can ask yourself. And again, you can print out just the one year and do the one year if you want. You don't always have to do the five year and one year and six year together. And we're not looking for perfect answers. And something that you might find will happen as you go through this process is once you go through this, you'll begin to see how your mindset or your subconscious starts to bring answers to some of these things. You'll be out in your car two days later and you'll kind of like have this idea and you'll be thinking about these reflections. That's good. That's healthy. You want that to have happen and start to pay attention to what is what it's saying, what you are listening to, because that's all very valuable information. And as if you go through the bottleneck workshop, you will see how that's the process. And the rest of the workshop teaches you what to do with that information and how to leverage it to move yourself forward. So again, if you want to check that out and join us in the ball neck workshop, then click the link down below. And if you don't catch the live version, you can catch the uh, replay where you can actually purchase the workshop and you can go through it at your own time. That will be available come December or December, January. The last page here that you guys have in this download is called the alignment. It's just a really awesome graphic that I created. And it's really just showing you that the work that we do in mindset is moving you from the ego self. And we're doing that through leveraging the higher self. And the point that meets in the middle is the alignment of human and soul. And that's our subconscious mind, which is what we've been talking about here today. And the ego self, it's really about finding the ego attachment, showing it what it cannot see and energetically detaching and neutralizing its emotions or experience to whatever. 
And then the higher self here is all about introducing new desires and beliefs. It's all about meeting the subconscious mind. And it's all about energetically impressing new ideas that don't allow the ego to be in control. And the alignment of self, the purpose of life is to align with your desires. As an entrepreneur, it is your desire to own and operate a business, which means this is what you want to align with. The purpose is to challenge the ego self to become what the conscious self desires. And when that occurs, you will find alignment with your human and your spiritual self, allowing a state of flow, time, and abundance to be found, which is ultimately why you had a desire to become an entrepreneur to begin with, to align with flow, time, and abundance and impact. And the reality you have on your heart is available for you to have the life, the time, the freedom, the money, all of it is available for you to align with right now. So that is the pregame in the bottleneck workshop, very, very valuable tools and questions to be asking yourself. I want to also point out that as I go through this workshop, I'm not, this workshop isn't built around this idea of new year's resolutions or it being December. And we're like moving into January. It's just about like, Hey, we're going to like get our, our, our mental mind out of alignment, misalignment. We're going to get it aligned with where we want to go. And it just kind of happens to be around this time frame of the year. And the reason why I'm talking about it like that is because we really want to move from this idea around this time of year that we're doing new year's resolutions. And yes, we want to do reflection and we want that, but we can create such a different idea of what the new year is in our mindset. And it can be a much healthier one because most of us have been listening to this very archaic concept of December and new year's and starting and rah, rah, rah. And it's just so distorted and it doesn't work for us. And so when you can redefine it for yourself. And you can really decide like, Hey, at the end of December, I do these reflections and I get into the groove and I look at my misalignment. I decide where I want to go. I start to kind of map out the action plans. I create some supporting affirmations. It's just what I do. And it doesn't matter when I do it, but this is also when I do it. As you move into the new year, you don't feel this pressure. You're just like, cool, I know what to do. I got this plan. It just happens to be December and just happens to be January. Then I'm rolling it out. And so it feels a lot more comfortable. And that's why this kind of work and this idea of doing reflection near this month in this kind of a way and not talking about it, like it's a new year's resolution or like set your 2021 goals really makes a big difference, a big, big difference in your mindset. And so just wanted to share that and point that out and remind you that this is what this process is, is about getting you into alignment with the desires and actions that you need to be taking and making it easier on yourself. Therefore, it doesn't matter what time of the year it is. And this is a process we should be applying into our life all the time. And if we did that, we'd move a lot faster because we'd actually be dealing with our shit and we'd be aligning with a better way for us to take action. So I cannot say it enough times, do not take this work lightly. If you haven't already printed this off, print it off, put pen to paper and do the work, show up for yourself and get realigned before we move into the year of 2021. And let's make it be your best year ever. If you would like to join us in the Ballneck Workshop, like I said, there is still a couple spots available. So go ahead and click that link and register. Otherwise, I will see you next week for another episode where we are going to be talking more about the three-step mindset framework, but I'm actually going to be diving a little bit deeper on it with you. And I haven't shared this out on the podcast yet. So I'm really excited to deliver this next week for you guys. If you have any questions, send me a message. You don't know how to get a hold of me. Otherwise, have an absolute fantastic day and I'll see you in another episode. That is a wrap on today's podcast where we are spending the next four weeks getting you out ahead of your New Year's intentions and desires that you have for the 2021 year. And we're doing it by aligning our mental mind with those things that we desire to have. So again, if you are someone who is interested in locking in one of the select spots that are available for the Bald Neck Workshop for Entrepreneurs, which is live for call times, head to go.yourmindsetmentor.com forward slash join to go ahead and lock in your spot and get instant access to the Slack community and accountability.